right so this video is going to be about flow state why is it even important and am i there right now obviously not because i'm making this video and it is a certain state of mind in which if you can even identify that you're in flow state while you're in flow state you're not in flow state <laughs> now what does it mean and why is it even important for us today as human beings to flow because a lot of us everyone maybe even you watching this video clogged up the stimulus has gone too far it's just too erratic in the mind in the body distractions media everything taking you away from this the whole point of flow state the whole goal of flow state is to get as close as you possibly can to harmony to get as close as you possibly can to that state of mind that way of living that feels effortless right that feels like like you don't even know what's going on for example this papaya tree i mean every day i wake up i look at the same papaya tree i can't see it growing but it's growing it's growing rapidly and it's getting stronger by the minute i can't see it right i'm not on that frequency i'm not i'm not a tree yet you feel me so all i can do since we are one since we are a part of nature is to learn from our creator learn from our ancestors to be as calm and conducive to nature and and all expectations possible of living right everything that you're trying to gain in life has a process you can't just snap your fingers and then you see it or snap your fingers and then you're there there's a process everything is a process nature is a process look at this cornfield Again, could you even use your imagination to see when day one was? It's really hard to believe. It's just been in a state of growth that will not disrupt it by any means necessary. So that's where you want to be. That's how you want to live. Now, I'm not saying this is how you should do it because that's just more dogma, more morals for you. But if you're uncomfortable with your current way of life, right, if you don't understand yourself, if you don't understand the world, if you feel like something is wrong and you know there's something wrong, you got to get out the game. You got to get out the circus. You can't keep participating in the fuckery, especially when you don't win anything in the end. So flow state. Getting in an environment that's conducive for what you're trying to be at peace i mean like if we really if we really just like get realistic with ourselves flow state equals harmony harmony equals peace peace is what you need for growth right you can't grow in an erratic environment you're not gonna grow in hell you're not gonna grow in anywhere that is not designed for you to grow you might learn more you might become something that you don't you know you didn't plan to become but a lot of it is based on the flow state of where you currently are if it's not equal in peace and harmony you might want to get out of that flow state and get to the more original side of things and that is nature no arguing no bickering there's wind where there's when there's wind there's a butterfly when there's a butterfly. I don't see this papaya tree sweating or busting its ass to look so beautiful. I don't see any of these birds confused. They're like, they're talking to one another. They're like, which way do we go? Do we go this way? Do we go that way? What about tomorrow? Should we fly? It's non -exist. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's not real. The problem with humanity today is that we've been extracted from all of our core features, all the cool things that make a person a person. It's been extracted. The marijuana, the, the cannabis has been extracted. Food, the sugar has been extracted. Books, the bigger words, the highlights, the gurus, the trending topics have been extracted. Even energy and love has been extracted just down to a little heart symbol. I mean, you're either part of the problem or you're part of the solution or you're part of the pollution. You want to keep that in mind as well. And the Internet is still around. Books still exist. It's still a way of living where you have no bills. 
no stress, no problems, no drama, no bad people around you, no headaches, no anxiety, no hatred, no violence, no stress, no depression. All of those are worldly things given to you from your country, you know? And effort and hard work is a very capitalistic thing. It's very, uh, you know, hierarchy and whatnot. So I'm not saying that it's like a bad thing to get what you desire. If you desire something and it's attainable, go attain it. But until when will you slow down to realize that you already won? You already won, right? You got the money, you got the fun, you got the achievements, you set the future up for yourself. And then what? You got like work to do. <laughs> you have all this work to do. You have to understand the world that you're in and why is it so confusing for you? You have to understand what you're looking at when you lay your eyes on a tree or a leaf. These things help calm you down and bring you down to a real reality. One that takes no friction, no hard work, no effort, no stress, no problems. And it takes you away from that fake, rigid reality of goal setting, bill paying and effort, energy wasting, not only on people, but just on desires that are miscellaneous and mean nothing at all. So understand that flow state is not just a state or a country or a continent. It's a world that you want to be in. You want to get there and stay there. And the fastest way to get into flow state is to open your eyes and realize that everything that you're trying to gain and get is an illusionary concept based on glamour and colors and glitter. And it's talking to your brain and the dopamine inside of your body and your brain and there's a con there's a, a chemical connection happening with with your mind, your eyes, your body that you don't understand and and you're just leaving it up to like your thoughts. You think your thoughts are just analyzing this and analyzing that and the way you can see it it's so much deeper than that. There's a chemical warfare, there's a biological warfare, there's a technological warfare. There's too many things going on for you to not pump the brakes right now and hold on to a vine hold on to something and the only thing you really should be holding on to is your natural habitat nature this holds all the answers this is all you need flow state remember when you're there you shouldn't really know that you're there <laughs> make sure you get the audiobook detox 2020 click this link below i'll see you guys when you see me love